Black-capped chickadees, that's uh, one of my favorite birds. It's the state bird here in Massachusetts, and certainly uh, appealing little things. Again, they, they do insects primarily in, uh, um, in the summer, but even in the winter, you'll see them in little flocks foraging high in the trees where they're looking for tiny little uh, overwintering insects that may be in the form of either larvae or in some cases even insect eggs. Uh, or, or the pupil stages of certain small insects. Very, very tiny things. I mean, chickadees aren't very big. They have a small little pointy bill. So that that's the kind of thing that they, they uh, are inclined to feed on um, sort of as a first line. But then because they so frequently come to bird feeders, they love sunflower seeds and other small seeds. And you'll see them take a, take a sunflower seed. They'll put it between its feet, and then they'll hammer on it to crack the shell open and then uh, take the heart out. Unlike sparrows and, and finches and things that have conical bills that are very good for, they can just take the whole, ingest the whole seed, crack it open, deal with it, and then they, they shuck the shells aside and just take the heart. Chickadees have to manually, so to speak, hold the, sh the, the, the seed and, and peck it open, and then they take the, the heart out. So they will take certain kinds of seeds um, and, and are regular visitors to bird feeders where that's what they prefer to eat. They also like beef suet. You know, if you put beef suet out, which is a common offering for, for uh, feeder birds in the winter, chickadees will take that as well. Um, but certainly during the warmer weather, they're, they're looking for insects of, of one sort or another and not particularly eating seeds at that time of the year.